I was, um, I think it was 1980s when I came into the Oatlands. I was uh, a news agent show up there. Uh, it was, to some people it was really, really bad place, but I met some really nice people around here, um, especially the elderly people like Mrs. Gardner, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Gardner and the Taylor family and McCusker family. And there were like um, um, there's some other people like uh, Mrs. McLaren stayed around the corner for me. She was so great. Um, like Mr. Pa, Mr. and Mrs. Park family, uh, they were quite 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 good. The Mr. and Mrs. Burrow Burrow family, remember that? Uh, Findlay family, and uh, they made me really really welcome because I was new to that. I was quite young at that time. I was only about. 20, I think, uh, when I came there, I was, and when I opened up the shop there, and they all came in, and next day, they were quite friendly, quite um, supportive, really, towards me, anything went wrong with the shop or anything, they were always very supportive, kind words and everything, very friendly, so a lot of people would ask me, so that place is, is okay because they thought it was a really, really bad place but there were some nice people in there and quite enjoyed being there and I was there for 15 years. Um, it was a long, long time. Most of my, you know, peak age was spent there and it was really nice, nice people and it was great to be there. Quite enjoyed being in the shop. Um, it was like a second home to me, Oatland. Uh, all I know is people from Oatland. Uh, this is where I spent all my life. So it was brilliant, uh, really nice. I heard there. Did you see a lot of people kind of growing up, kind of young? Oh yes, up the, young I've, I've seen almost three generations. Uh, like uh, I've I've known um, Mrs. Taylor's sons, like Gordon, Gordon and uh, Jake, and you now they've got their daughters and Ashley is Mrs. Taylor's granddaughter, and she's going. A baby as well so that's like three generations I've known really grown up so it's it was quite good a lot of other people like um, I like to keep in touch some of them are on the Facebook I keep in touch with them and I get to know and when they tell me their age and their kids age and I feel really really old I'm saying my god I've really grown old uh, you were saying to me that you, was it your cousins that had shops, uh, a shop in Rosebury That's right, just well? just around the back in the Rosebury Street, I was called guy called Dicky. You always called him Mickey, but it was Khaled, his name was. Uh, he's my cousin, he was my cousin. Tarek and their dad, Gafur, they called him Abdul or something. Uh, it was me actually go that shop for them because I moved here and then they were looking for something to work on, so I gave them, go them that shop. And they were there for a long time as well. Uh, obviously, people from Oatland would know him, know him quite well as well. Okay. Uh, it was a lady called Emma, I think, had the shop before that, before them. And the guy called, the, the shop I bought was uh, Mr. Singh called Malki. Uh, Malkiyat Singh. He had that shop. So I took off of him. Uh, and who, who is it you told me the shop? before you took it over and the one in Rulligan Road, was it, um, who had that before you? That's, that's the guy I'm talking about, Mal right, right. Malky. The Malky, one yeah, you, right, Malky, right, right. that was before me, yeah. And next door was our beloved Paul. <laughs> and the Paul was a great guy. He wouldn't, he, why would they, they would go and sell, uh, if somebody came in for a glass of water, he would go and charge them 10 pence. <laughs> I had that complaint from all the Oatland people, oh my God, he's so mean, and all that. But he was a nice guy, he was a nice guy to talk to. Uh, I don't know where he's went to, but I remember his son. What was his name again? Uh, Raj or something. Uh, I seen him once on the King's Park Avenue in one of the shops. I don't know whether they own that or not. Mm, that's all my memories of Portland's quite good. A lot of them and dear them ho hold them so dearly, especially elderly people like Mr. and Mrs. Gardner, Mr. and Mrs. Burrow, Mr. and Mrs. Findlay. Um, there were so many others like uh, Mr. and Mrs. Mooney, Mr. and Mrs. Taylor, especially the old lady around the corner, Mrs. McLaren. Mm, there was Mr. and Mrs. McLeod and Mr. and Mrs. Park 
Uh, I don't know if you remember them. It was two pa- families. One was Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Park. The other one was Mrs. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Parker. The, the lady Parker, I think she worked in the cash and carry, right. the castle cash and carry as well. And they moved away from there as well. Mr. and Mrs. McKady in the Salvation Army. I think you remember that. Mm-hmm. Their boy I still see now and again. I think his name is, I just call him McKady anyway. And Do you find that it. most people you talk to have got a lot of good memories of ones as well? Oh yes, uh, you still, whenever you see them, meet them, they still remember you quite well and talk about things of that time. Really quite good. Well, thanks very much, so Thank you. No problem. Thanks for the memories. No problem. Memories are very precious. Thank you. <laughs> at the old lens.